This guy, this guy is gonna get it here in a second. What's going on guys, welcome back. I know I say that every video, it's just my go-to. It's just, it, it happens, okay, it just happens. Anyway, we're back working on Allie's truck here. Uh, if you guys have been following along, uh, we finally got the truck back together and all of a sudden have every communication code known to man going on. I just, that was a, Michael, I just saw Dakota pulling like a full-size excavator. <laughs> uh, but anyway guys, uh, something is terribly wrong with Allie's truck. Uh, we are hoping, praying, thinking that it is the computer. Uh, the guys over at CTT were awesome enough to send us a loaner ECM uh, for us to try and hopefully uh, resolve all of our communication. Like there's miscommunication codes with every single module in this truck for some reason. We have no idea why. Uh, so we're hoping that today is the day that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's either going to work or not going to work. You got, we have two options, but this is where we are going to start. We're thinking that possibly something inside the computer uh, is just, just not, not happy at all. So uh, if you guys were wondering, most all Cummins computers, ECMs, are down here on the side of the block. Uh, see if I can sneak in there. Can't really see a whole lot. But it's right down here, right underneath your CP3. So today, today is gonna start with this. We might bounce around in this video to a lot of different things, uh, but we're gonna start with trying to see if this loaner ECM fixes a lot of the problems. This thing's got uh, like the chime is messed up inside. The truck doesn't know if it's in. Uh, uh, park or drive or it, it doesn't know anything um, so anyway I think that's it for now we're just gonna quick try and swap this computer you guys can't see me when I walk this way I'm gonna have to walk backwards walk backwards with the light don't be hey yo I'm trying to trying to walk here bro so that's where the day started fingers crossed everybody keep your fingers crossed in the comments below I'm just trying to use this truck First step, disconnect your batteries, right? So presto, just like that, we have got the new ECM in there. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I am, I am so scared. Is that is that good? Like, is the dinging gone? It's hard to explain all of the stuff that we were experiencing with this. It's reading coolant and oil temp now. in park. That definitely changed stuff, right? Like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look. Coolant, oil temps back. Before all of these different lights, they were changing colors, right? So now, they're green except for reverse and then park. We got, we all, all, the only thing we have is a tire pressure light and then, I don't know what that's for. We need to do like trans and stuff. Like, yeah, just but like idle it back and forth like and let see it how it goes. second because last time when I let it shift to the second is when everything went.
like, I don't know what to do with my hands, but uh, I think this is what it was supposed to be like when we first fired it up. All right, so key off. Key off. Continue. Continue. Let's go. Turn it on. ABS lights off. Still got the squiggly line. It doesn't have any codes in it. So it got rid of the one, it got rid of the last code, but the light's still on. can hardly contain my excitement now. I can finally breathe. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, situations like that, I get a little, I get a little flustered. Like I just, I want everything to be okay. I want everything to be happy. I, you know, the ECM on this thing being, uh, you know, bad. Like it, the ECM fixed everything. Uh, we still have like one little light on the dash that I know we can probably resolve. But other than that, the ECM was bad, was fried, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea why, but the ECM that we have in here now uh, fixed everything. The truck is acting normal. All of the miscommunication codes are gone. The truck has no codes. Uh, drove it up and down the driveway a little bit. Obviously, we still are missing our bank's intercooler pipes. Everything is still going to get powder coated, uh, but the truck, the truck is okay. Like, the truck being okay, it makes Greg extremely happy. Like I'm, I'm ecstatic. I can finally uh, sleep knowing that the truck is okay again now. So uh, super happy, super pumped, uh, just off the charts. Like ready, ready to now drive and use this thing. I, I my my fear and worry is slowly dissipating. Um, so. Over the last weekend, uh, we took a couple road trips uh, and we picked up a couple sets of wheels and tires. So I told myself that I was not going to put different wheels and tires on the truck and do anything else until we had this thing, uh, you know, fixed. <laughs> the truck's gotta be uh, usable, workable, uh, drivable before we go ahead and start throwing all of the other parts and everything else on it. As you guys know, uh, we did make the decision to sell these wheels and tires on the truck. So if you guys are interested in the brand new set of wheels and tires on the truck now, obviously you guys know that it has never left my driveway. Um, you know, these are brand new. So we've got new wheels and tires for it. So uh, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna put polished wheels on the truck, which once we get done with all of the other body stuff, once we go visit our buddy Mark, I think you guys will love the look. They are a little spicy right now. They are a little, they are a little wide. Uh, the tires that are on the wheels, not everybody's gonna love. You guys are gonna probably, probably roast in the comments, but I want you to keep one thing in mind before I even show you the wheels. The tires on there are not going to stay. I was really after the wheels. We picked up two sets of wheels and tires, one for Allie's truck, and then also a set that we are gonna keep on the second gen. So we're gonna be changing the tires on both sets of wheels. I really bought both of these setups just because of more or less the wheels. So keep that in mind. We're gonna change the tires soon. You guys will, I know, have something to say about them, but anyway. I'm happy enough to put the wheels and tires on it. That is what we are gonna do. Uh, as of now, the bank's intercooler pipes are on their way. They will be powder coated. And then, other than that, we could have been driving the truck. Me and Michael were actually like, all right, hit the road, let's go. I was like, oh wait, oh wait, it doesn't have intercooler pipes on. It's like, crap, but this truck is ready to hit the road. Ready to hit the open road, boys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Anyway. 
Let me roll these wheels and tires over and I will show you them what's in store for Allie's truck. We'll get Allie out here and uh, have her give us a hand and just let her know that her truck, her truck is all better now. Hey boys, hey boys. Babe, babe. Fix it. Your truck is fixed. Yeah. High five. How you doing? Hi, Reggie. Yay, mommy's truck is fixed. Woohoo! High five. High five. High five. Oh, you want a hug? Oh, hug. Hug. Okay, knuckles. 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 Boom. How happy are you? You want to see your new wheels and tires? Yeah, just give me a minute. Okay. You going to help put them on the truck? Sure. Babe. Babe, how we feel about these wheels and tires? Oh, hey, Reagan, are you help pushing? Oh yeah, all right guys, so <laughs> these are definitely a little on the stretch side. So again, uh, keep that in mind. Like I said, uh, we probably will put new tires on these wheels eventually, but uh, these are 22 by 14 American Force, I believe it's, I believe they're Trax, T-R-A-X, or something like that. Uh, so these are definitely some wide, some wide boys that I wanted to do something a little bit different on Allie's truck. Uh, you know, we do 22 by 12s on pretty much everything. Uh, I'm not going to show you the wheels and tires for the second gen quite yet. But as you can see, I mean, like, I, I am not... I am not a huge fan of seeing that much lip on the wheel, for sure. Um, so we're gonna throw these on, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what they look like. See how they fit. Um, Al, where are you? Where are you going? Daddy, push. Push, push, push. Push so hard. Babe, what do you think about the bling, though? I like them. Come on, push. You think you like them? See you want to see him on the truck? Yeah. All right. Hey! Scratching up the wheels, yo! Christmas! Christmas! She's saying Christmas? Is that a Christmas tree? Man, new words every day here. It's hot. Babe, your truck is almost ready to go. All right, so we're gonna throw these babies on. Uh, somewhere over here, we've got some lug nuts. Backsides probably really need to be cleaned up real well, but for now, we're just gonna throw these on. We're trying to keep those wheels and tires brand new. Uh, obviously, we don't wanna put any miles on them, so we're gonna put these on and kinda of see where we're at. Uh, stock height in the front, 22 by 14s. Uh, these are 305.40. Oh, your hands are very dirty. Oh, your hands are dirty. You okay? Look at nice, nice shirt. Give her, give her some muscles. It's a nice, nice angle of your butt there. We're just breaking them free. All right, okay. Reagan's got lots of words today. Try and try and keep it like right in the leverage zone. Okay. So keep it keep it lower. The lower that you keep it, the more body weight you can use. So if you keep it there, you can use all hundred pounds of you. I like how you're. I'm just I'm trying to help you. Oh, you want Reagan help? Good job. Reagan loves the shop. She's gonna be out here. I know. Ramen noodles for lunch. I get it. Push down, 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 down. Good. <laughs> here, you gonna help me? Cool. Go Run away wheel. Run away wheel. Oh no. No, no, no. We're gonna keep this one right here. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Ready to go? Is it a little... Don't touch the camera. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Ray, come over here and help Mama. Help Mommy. Come here. Help Mommy. Help Mommy. 
camera. Okay, we're gonna leave the camera right here. And then? We're trying to time lapse. All right, leave the camera right here. Go help mommy. Come here, come help me push. Can you push this down? Push it down. Push it down. Push it down. <laughs> oh, Ray. Oh, Ray. 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 No camera is safe. Hey. Why don't you clean the tire? Oh, you. All right, time to back it out. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. Babe, what do you think about your? It's a pretty, it's a pretty spicy mom mobile here. These are, these are, these are, these are pretty thick. There's a couple C's on the end of that thick. We're gonna, we're gonna find out how much uh, this does or does not turn here very shortly. But it's gonna look good with some Laramie flares on it. Laramie flares coming up very soon. Hey, come on, we're gonna pull this thing out. We're gonna drive it. Or we're gonna drive it outside. Here, you wanna sit inside the truck? Just gotta watch the mirrors straight back. Thing barely fits in the lift with 14 lights on it. You're good. All right, babe. What do you think? What do you think about your 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 spicy ride here? I like it better than the other ones. You like them better than the other ones? Yeah. They are a little thick. Super thick. But goodness, it looks good. Yeah, I like it. See about maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Got a got a girl on me. We'll 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 figure out. I like the I like the design. Yeah. I really like the design. Obviously, like every every wheel we have around here has a similar design, but I like it. Mmm, she looks good. Again, the stretch, you know, stretch I don't know about, but hey, people aren't even gonna know what to do when they see it's you driving. She's a little, a little tall in the rear, but. I just felt like the 05 was missing out on all the fun. Uh, we we still have not taken off the uh, rest of the yellow stuff off of the door handles. It is a bright, hot, sunny day out today. That is for sure. But. 
got the wheels and tires back on the 05. Guys, we are just, every day, we are just knocking stuff out, which feels really, really good. Uh, still got tons of work to do on a lot of different stuff, but uh, feels good. Oh uh, man, like I can't even can't even tell you how excited I am for Allie's truck now that we kind of got uh, the big like, hey, the truck is okay, everything is okay. Um, already kind of got the wheels turning in my head for some different ideas. Uh, definitely these tires on here are not going to be staying. Um, I think what I'd like to do is uh, Thurin, Thurin Fab, you know our boys, our suspension boys, uh, they actually make springs that like go up just like a half inch and they make springs that will uh, lower the rear down so it pretty much sits exactly level. That should give us just a little bit more room to squeeze a, uh, a bigger tire on this thing, but uh, super pumped. Uh, man, I'm just super excited, but look at the 05. Hmm, man, everything. Everything's just running. Everything's ready to rip. I can't wait. Anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Uh, a little bit all over the place, just doing some random things. A uh, couple last minute things is Beans uh, Blackout in the Country event is this weekend. Fingers crossed the rain uh, does not affect that right now. We'll see. We'll see. But make sure you guys have Beans on your schedule. Stay tuned. I'll link their Instagram down below. I'll put a flyer up over here. We will be there. Weather bar and everything is good. Uh, probably going to be one of the last events events of the season 2020 man 2020 event season all over the place but anyway guys that's pretty much going to wrap up this video make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up um excited to finally start working on some of the cool engine stuff on Allie's truck um michael's dually in the background here Next video, we're going to be doing some work on Michael's truck. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, a lot of you guys have sent me messages about, uh, hey, where's all the uh, wrench turning tutorial style like information knowledge? That is going to be a great video for you guys. Uh, so make sure you guys are subscribed. Stay tuned for that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully we will have a winner for the roll cart in the next couple days. Just waiting to hear back uh, on that. But I know you guys are excited, so... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. November 1st is the new uh, Wrenchworks launch for the fall winter stuff. Uh, trying to get that stuff out for you guys as soon as possible because obviously uh, not everywhere it's supposed to be 80 degrees today. Not everywhere is 80 degrees where you know where you need a, you need a sweatshirt. So uh, that's it. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one. See you.